Let's take a look at Excel themes as a way to format our workbooks. Themes control the background colors and the font colors and font styles for your different looks inside of Excel. It gives uh, the color and the font a consistent look. Also, when you use themes inside of Excel, you can expect to see those other color schemes inside the other Office products such as Word and PowerPoint. Now I don't have any background color, but I can see a change of font if I go to the Page Layout tab and in the first group called Themes, I will click the drop down arrow on the Themes button and I will choose different themes. And I can see the fonts changing from one theme to the next. I will go back to the default theme, which is the Office theme. I will now come up and click on my table heading here and I will choose the cells that extend across the table and I'm going to come out to my home tab and I'm going to pick a different color here for the background. I'm going to choose from my theme colors. I'm going to stay away from my standard colors for now and I'm going to go to the first row and select the color in the, at the very end of the first row and I see that I get this orange color. And sure enough if I come out here now and go to page layout and go to themes just as I saw before, the fonts change, but also I get a color change as well. And if I come out here and go to, say, Apex and click on Apex, I see that it's turned purple. But if I go out to the Home tab and I click on my drop-down arrow for my color theme, I can see that purple is the last color in the first row. So all it's doing here is it's just using my standard grid of different colors that it's selected for each theme. These colors are blended and selected to work together and be eye-pleasing, but if I change themes, I'm going to change the color that I've chosen as well. And that's why I see that um, it's changed from orange to purple. Likewise, if I come up to the cell that contains my company, and I go up to the font, and I take a look at the two theme fonts, I have Lucida Sands and Book Antigua. These are the two fonts I have to choose from under the theme fonts for this current theme. Next, I will choose colors and fonts that are not included in the theme. I'm going to come out here to January, and under my Fill tool, I'm going to choose Standard Colors, and I'm going to go ahead and choose an orange color. Also, under my Fonts, instead of choosing my two theme fonts, I'm going to come down here to All Fonts, and I'm going to choose Algerian. And once I've done this, I've made a manual change on this worksheet to the colors and the fonts that I want. When you try to change a theme, Excel will realize that you've made a manual change and it will not affect those cells with your own custom change. For instance, if I come out here to Page Layout, go back to my themes here, and I choose a different theme like, say, Equity or Essential or Foundry, you'll see that no matter what theme I choose, January and the background color and the font are going to stay the same. They're not going to pick up the theme. I'll go to Apothecary. You can see it stays the same. To fix this, all I have to do is come out and strip off the format that I'm using here. If I click on January and I come back out here to my Home tab and go Clear Off on the right-hand side and choose the Clear button and choose Clear Formats, it will strip off the manual format and now I'm back to following my theme.